Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're looking inside the Georgia Dome right now, one of the most intense environments every year for a postseason game. The Chick-fil-A Bowl just about set to go. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. This has the makings of being an incredible bowl game. Welcome to the Chick-fil-A Bowl. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. this one off and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game Richardson from the four brought down at the 28 the quarterback brings his troops out out of the field for the first drive of the game to that quickly. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Quick throw. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. The Seminoles are feeling pretty good about themselves, especially after a record-setting performance last week. But the best thing they can do, put it all behind them and get back to work because those records don't mean anything today. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. the screen pass gets it to the back he's knocked out of bounds at the 33 the screen pass goes nowhere well you're going to take your hat off to the defense all week they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field and they really shut him down that time Williams is back awaiting the punt He really got a hold of that one. Lost the ball. Fumble. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. So they'll go up to the booth to take a few more looks to see whether or not the ball was fumbled before the ball carrier was down. The coach wants to challenge this one, so we'll take another look at the possible fumble. After review of the play, play, the ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So the call on the field will be reversed. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Knocked out of bounds around the 34-yard line. Gaining two yards. That makes it second and eight. quickly to the tight end and he's tackled around the 45 yard line he is such a good target really anywhere on the field but they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations 
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. And he throws it away. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He's got it with room to run. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 42. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. From the 42-yard line, first down. made at the 34. That's good for a game of eight yards. That brings in second and one. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Go up there, check it out, up there. Go down, go down. Nice run there. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's good for a big five yards. That brings him second and five. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Quick strike, and he drops it. From the 23-yard line, it's third down. Fires right side, got his tailback. Brought down at the 17. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Second down and 16. Ball in the 23. Quick pass. And he's taken down at the 14-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Here's the 12th play of the drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. And a quick throw. And that sets them up with a first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And they make the stop right around the two-yard line. Here's play number 14 of this drive. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Here it is, folks. Third and goal from the two. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Touchdown, Razorbacks. He splits the uprights with the extra point. 
A long 15-play, 68-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 7-0. Richardson, from the two, makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19. He gets rid of this one, and this one could be on the defense. Pass interference. Defense. Concentration lapse right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. First and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. Hits him hard at the 15-yard line. That brings up second and nine. away here on third down. Give to the back and hit hard for a loss. Eighty awaits the snap. And this one is a beauty. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Second and five. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. Arkansas is up seven. Throwing left. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Might have been some early movement up front. Offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. From the 22-yard line, second down. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Man left, man left. With 
with a quick throw. The deflection prevented them from getting any yards, and now it's fourth down. Fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Arkansas can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough, and it's good. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 10-0, Arkansas. Silva is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 29-yard line. The Razorbacks are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. He's tackled at the 38. There are three quarters remaining. The Razorbacks with a 10-point lead. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. it out to about the 49. It's first and 10. Ball on the 49. Tackle at the 38-yard line. throw out to the receiver and down he goes at the 23 that grab ties him for the school record for catches in a season it's been an incredible relief for a quarterback to know he's got a target this dependable that's why they call his number so often first and 10 ball on the 23 yard line Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he's stopped before he even gets going. Incomplete one of his receiver. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. From the 25 yard line, third down. Throws complete. He's got space to work. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. First and goal from the four. They're knocking on the door. They put everyone up on the line. Defense falls on it. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with a turnover buck. They need to hold on to the football. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. They line up at the eight. 
Second down. Steps out of bounds at the 11. a great tackle at the four. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. Smith is waiting for the snap. Richardson fields it at the 46. He makes it to the 38-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. Here comes the offense. No doubt looking to take better care of the ball on this drive. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he's tackled at the 29. First and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Jones was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Makes it out to about the 13. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. They need to convert down here and end their red zone woe. Room around the corner. And he tackles him hard at the four-yard line. Taken down at the one. That brings up second and goal. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the one. Touchdown, Seminole. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Arkansas has a three-point lead. Puff on the handoff. Tackle made right around the 26-yard line. That's good. That brings up 
second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 26. Go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. And a pickup of about seven. He executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's at midfield. He's finally tackled at the 35-yard line. First and 10 following that big run. Makes it out to about the 26. That draw to the running back was good for nine yards. Arkansas is going to use their first time out of the half here. Caught out in the open. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 16. That's good for being at 10 yards. First down. From the 16-yard line. First down. Arkansas is up a field goal. Here's the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at the 14-yard line. That's a gain of two on the way. That makes it second and eight. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's pushed out of bounds at the 11-yard line. That'll make it good. Here's the eighth play of the series. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 11. They're going to go for the easy three here. It's up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Now he's flushed and they got it. Looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. He throws a dart to the left. Finds the junior at the 30, to the 20, the 10. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. So we've played two quarters. Arkansas leads it 
We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast paced, up tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow the necks and play some good, pretty good ball. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Five wide. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Caught, and he's hit immediately. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Arkansas is up by six. He's got it out to his tight end. Brought down at the 49. From their own 49 yard line. First down. And they make the stop at about the 49. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's knocked out immediately after the catch. You don't always need to throw the ball with a lot of zip, although it does help in some cases. When you have accuracy like this guy, you can make all the throws. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Fires out to his wideout. And he's leveled the 37-yard line. Ball again of two yards. That makes it second and eight. the middle for a nice game. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Arkansas up six. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. A great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before you start to blame the offensive line, really give this defense some credit. They just did a great job. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. They'll call on the field goal unit. The kick is up, and it's good! <laughs> Looks like they're ready for the kick. Richardson fields at the goal line. He's to the 20, looking for the corner. 
He gets hit out of bounds around the 36 yard line. That was a nice kick return. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. On play action, he'll scramble. The ball pops free, and the offense will recover. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's on the run. They'll bring him down at the 37. That's good for a game of five yards. That'll make it 39. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. at the 47-yard line. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. Let's go, D. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. And down he goes. Around the 50-yard line. And here's another third down. And he's tackled at about the 35. He's now got their single season reception record. Sure, he's had some drops along the way, but he never hangs his head. He never gets down on anyone for a bad pass or missed block. You need that kind of attitude to break records. the 35 yard line first down makes it to the 27 that's a game that makes it second and two this is the eighth play of this drive Play action here. He's going to scramble. There's a very impressive open field tackle. We're at play number nine of this current drive. They push him out at the four. So it's second down and about two yards to go. There was some movement on the line. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. Quickly 
and that was almost picked. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. They can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Florida State lines up for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense was able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. Arkansas with a six-point lead. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. From their own 22-yard line. It's second down. Let's go. Green drop. Slings it out there incomplete. Green tailbacks got it, and he shoved out of bounds right around the 36 yard line. It's first and ten, ball on the 36. He's taken down at the 33 yard line. Three down and one to go. The Razorbacks in front by six. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Arkansas is up by six. Huff gets a carry left side. And he's taken down at about the 47-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. Decent run here, right side. That makes it second and six. From the 43 yard line, second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of six on the ball. That'll bring up third and inches. And this play is number eight on the drive. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a game of five on the ball. That makes it 
first and ten. From the 32-yard line, first down. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start. Offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. to 29. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's second and seven. Ball in the 29. Arkansas up six. Flips it middle to the running back, and he's hit immediately. This is the 11th play of this drive. Makes it to the 14. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 14. They'll get him for a loss. That makes it second and 10. This is the 13th play of this drive. Larry, Larry, Larry. Tins the mic. Tins the mic. It's, it's going to be a Here we go. Oh. Runs it again, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. The defense gets their fourth chance to make a stop here on third down. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Might have been some early movement up front. False start. Offense. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost him five yards. Still fourth down. Here's a fourth down and long situation following the penalty. Arkansas with a six-point lead. Kicks away, and it's good. Silva gets set to kick this one away. From his own goal line. Makes it to the 22-yard line. The Seminoles have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. He's scrambling. Brought down at the 22-yard line. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled it. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. From their own 22-yard line, second down. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. Five-yard line. Second down. He scrambled. So he keeps it and picks up maybe a yard on the play. Larry, Larry. Let's go, let's go. 
Less than three minutes in the game. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. Scrambling around, and he can't get away from the pressure. They come up to the line here in second down and 14 after the sack. Nearly intercepted. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. That's a spree. Here comes the pressure, and he hits him hard at the 37-yard line. And he's sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. down and they need to get it down to the 20. A little over a minute in the game. Throws it to the outside. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Hey, this guy's got to forget about the drop. Remember, he was in good position to make a play. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. Hey, it's the last game of the season. Might as well pull out all the stops. That's a great play by the defense. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And they get nice yardage on that run. And a six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. Florida State's going to use their first time out of the half here. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Fights forward to about the 49. The running back gets two on the carry. The Seminoles call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Looking for the corner. He fights forward to about the 46. Short game. That'll move the chains. This defense should know what's coming at this point. But this rushing attack is a tough one to stop. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46. He takes a knee. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. This one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 19-10, Arkansas.
Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Well, it's not the outcome most people were expecting. Florida State really has to be discouraged about losing a game they probably should have won. You can bet their coach will have a nice long talk with his players after this performance. And for Silva, his play here today has gotten him recognized as our player of the game. For Arkansas, they continue an above average year, upping their record to 9 and 4. And for Florida State, this loss puts their record at 10 and 4 on what has been overall a successful season.